It gives me a profound spiritual joy to greet Dr. Lofer on my right, the president of the Federation of Swiss Protestant Churches. I would like also to greet Dr. Reverend Fornero, the director of the International Relations of the Federation. I would like with a special joy to greet the ambassador of Switzerland, the Lebanon. With the same spirit of love and fellowship. I would like to greet the representatives of the Armenian Evangelical Church and the Protestant Churches of Lebanon, our state ministers, deputies, the Central Committee of the Catholic Crusade, our community leaders and representatives of various church and community organizations. The presence of the Swiss Protestant churches through their representatives in this center of Syria is a, a concrete manifestation of the long-standing relationship and collaboration that have always existed between our two churches and nations. People always remember the significant role that the Swiss Protestant churches and in general the people of Switzerland have played at a crucial period of the modern history of our people. After the Armenian genocide, when the survival of our people was at stake, the Swiss people and the Swiss Protestant churches extended their full and unconditional support to our people. They establish houses for elderly and blind people in Lebanon, Syria, and Greece. They establish orphanages. They help the needy Armenian families and students. They organized fundraising drives in Switzerland for the Armenians and they initiated a number of community oriented programs thus participating actively in healing and recovery process of our people after the terrible genocide. I believe that uh, it must be underscored in a special way and the international ecumenical community should know this, that in spite of the active presence of Swiss Protestant churches among the Armenians, they never never attempted to proselytize our people. In contrary, they helped them 
They encourage them to remain faithful to their own Armenian church. Secondly, the presence of the representatives of the Federation of Swiss Protestant Churches among us in the spiritual center of the Holy See of Silesia is an eloquent manifestation, a concrete testimony of profound ecumenical collaboration and partnership that exists between our church and the Swiss Protestant churches. In fact, our close collaboration within the framework of the World Council of Churches and the Global Community Alliance of the Fellowship of the Protestant Churches, our joint ecumenical projects with the Armenian Evangelical Community here in Lebanon, and furthermore, the activities of Armenophas, which is a visible expression of the historical bonds that exist between our churches and two nations. All these come to indicate clearly of ecumenical values and vision that we share. And third, dear friends, the visit of the representatives of the Federation of Swiss Churches coincides with the commemoration of the Armenian martyrs that will take place on 24th of April. I am sure that all the Armenians in all corners of the world know that Switzerland was one of the first countries that formally recognized the Armenian genocide. Furthermore, the state of Switzerland, the people and the churches of Switzerland have frequently expressed their solidarity with the Armenian people. Dear friends, if we want to create a better world, a world in which people, nations of different culture, ethnicity, religion, and ideology can live together in harmony. The international community should not tolerate the violation of human rights, injustice, <coughs> genocide, and impunity. Reverend Locher, in one of your interviews, you have said that the church must speak out. I fully agree. <coughs> this is indeed the vocation of the church. The church, in all circumstances, must speak out firmly, clearly, and boldly. And speaking out implies reaching out, which in turn supposes engagement, commitment, and action. And the Swiss Protestant churches have always assumed their prophetic vocation 
by speaking out on issues which are against the gospel values and message. And I am sure that under your leadership, a strong leadership, the Protestant churches will continue speaking out, reaching out, and emphasizing the crucial importance of justice. Our church and people will remain always uh, grateful to what you did, your people, to your churches, in helping us at the most critical period of our modern history. Therefore, it is a great joy to me to decorate you with the insignia of Knights of Silesia as an expression of our love and gratitude to what your forefathers, your churches, have done to our people by identifying themselves with the suffering of the Armenians. May God bless you and may God bless your leadership and the churches of Switzerland. Your Holiness, Your Excellency, Brothers and sisters, the church must speak out, but in order to speak out, you have to be a good speaker. And I'm only half as good a speaker as His Holiness is, so I will be shorter than him. It gives me great pleasure to be with you today, to bring you all the good wishes from the Council of the Federation of Swiss Protestant Churches, as well as the Council of the Community of Protestant Churches in Europe. It is a joy to commemorate our long-standing good relations between the churches in Jesus Christ. The body of Jesus Christ is large and wide, and we have many differences in this church. And if you compare His Holiness with me, you can see even the clothes are different. And as the clothes are different, so are the views on how the church should be guided, how it should be organized, how we deal with tradition, how we deal with reformation. There are so many differences. But the mere fact that we stand together today, united in our quest for the Holy Spirit, shows that there is much more that unites us than what divides and still keeps us apart. We are both following the same Lord and we are both seeking to install His kingdom on earth. I am so grateful that not only my forefathers have been able to work together and to live together with your people, but even today, and also tomorrow, our countries, our peoples, and also our churches will stand united. I can assure you that as long as I am still in charge and can influence things in my country, you will have an ally and a friend of the cause of the Armenian people and the Armenian church. Bless you in your ways, bless you, your holiness, in your leadership of this church, and may we all seek the ways of the Lord together, now and in the future. Thank you very much. Thank you.